let's go boys episode 32 bros before oh. shows guys bros before shows right it's clever it's clever i like yeah. it thank you no okay you. fuck all of you i hate all of you it's fine <laughs> anyway know, I, i've all of a sudden got to just see the comments william sanford's podcast is not supposed to be on time sorry man it's late to my <laughs> reason. i know i'm sorry has, has this podcast ever started on time? No, that's literally the point, man. Come on, get on the ball. Jesus. Anyway, everybody, we've got a great guest here today, Nick Sloan of Sloan's Reptiles, also of AARPE. That's a very important letter at the end of that. Yeah, yes. I work for AARP. I'm, <laughs> you're old and you need insurance. Don't call me. Perfect. Oh my God, it's amazing! Uh, and Troy, you made a guest appearance. That's good. We were worried you weren't going to be here. I'm here, man. I'm here, ready to go. No, so, you were in the the foreign country of Colorado, I believe is how it's pronounced. I, I am in the foreign country of Colorado. Yep. Yeah. How's that going up there? Good, man. I had a really nice hike today. Uh, yeah. So that was nice. Uh, my son and his girlfriend are here as well. They have a little vacation going on, and so. Uh, uh, they met, yeah, they met up with me and we did a little hike, man. It was a good time. And then I just had an amazing dinner over at uh, Nick Salone's house from his lovely wife. That's amazing. Nice. I love it. I love it. Um, Sorry, one sec. Molly, uh, it was 42 seconds in. Thank you. Uh, guys, apparently I'm not allowed to curse within the first 30 seconds of our podcast now that we're monetized. So oh. um, apparently that's a YouTube rule. So 42 seconds. We were good. I looked at the timer. time. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Uh, anyway, I'm glad you got to uh, have a uh, a good meal with Nick. I did. I didn't. I, bring- I'm shocked Nick yeah. lets you in his home. Not only does he let me in his home, but he lets me like uh, have his children like uh, without any supervision. But does the <laughs> does the state of Colorado allow That's that? Such a terrible statement. <laughs> Terrible. You probably, you probably could have said like hang out with my kids instead of have my kids. Yeah. I just get there and, and then end it with no supervision. Like yeah. Words no words are words are important. Yeah. Uh, Colorado is a little more progressive. We let we let them play with our kids. That makes sense. That checks out. Yeah, and now guys, I think yes. He's got an extremely intelligent 19 month old. And um, I don't remember how old Nick's baby boy is, but the kid weighs like 47 pounds. 30 that- off. 30 off. But he's five months off. Old. He's five months old, but he's about as big as my daughter was when she was a year. So <laughs> Troy never was good with math. Yeah. Yeah. Me neither. Math. Math, it's overrated. Trust me. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fine. Anyway, we don't use uh, that. Yeah, not even a little bit, right? Uh, Chase, best and worst of the week. Go. Oh, man. Um, best of the week. That's it was a good feed day. I mean, that's my easy, easy answer. It was a I good hate you result. so much. You shouldn't even be able to say that. Yeah, uh, Chase, from henceforth, feed day, no more. We're done. Yep. You got to be better okay, than well, this. Well, I did. Uh, I did uh, Kirhi and Yona Mountain both this week. Then I had time to run up to to go and run Kirhi. So how's that? There you go. Of the week? That's a much better best. Now what's your worst? Uh, this conversation. Cold. It was like seventy degrees, and yeah. now it's uh, like forty again. So pretty bummed about that. This is, it sucks. You took my worst too. Damn it! It's awful. Yeah. Uh, Nick, how about you? Best of the week. Uh, I. I got to hang out with my kids a little bit more. I get to get home a little early. I'm working, I'm working close. Uh, All right. All right. Worst of the week, I am on we, – we own a construction business as well, but we're on a 70-window commercial job, and uh, I had to move scaffolding around probably 50 times in the last week. So, uh, yeah. It's, it doesn't it's, sound fun. You want to start to feel old, you just – you keep doing that for a while. Mm-mm. No, that sounds that sounds miserable. Yeah, Mm-mm. it it is. It, so come to my show, please. <laughs> <laughs> please go to their show, uh, Troy. Uh, I mean, man, I've got to go with the uh, you know best of the week. Huh? This trip, I mean, I had a really good day today. Um, okay, trip out yesterday. That's sweet. Was great. 
Yeah, I had a good time with the kids. Um, I got to do a little chase activity. I got to hike a giant bluff, um, and I and I did it in in probably a very record time. I've only climbed it a couple times. Uh, I think the first time it took Lisa and I like an hour and a half, uh, but it took me, Michael, and Alyssa, his girlfriend, like thirty five minutes. So I was pretty happy. Nice. All right, nice. that's a win, man. That's a win. It's a good difference. Yeah, yeah. that's a win. Just cru- um, and then I had I had Bob's Atomic Burgers, which if you're ever in the Colorado area. Uh, you need to check out Bob's Atomic Burgers over in Golden, Colorado. Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I've never, I've never had them, but I'll take your word for it. All right. Maybe if you came uh, to our show, Patrick, who is a sponsor, you could have uh, Bob's Atomic Burgers. I like how we started with bullying, and then you immediately were like, "But you are a sponsor." <laughs> um. Yeah. Here's the deal. I'm gonna try and come out in September. All right. Right. You're having one in September. We are. We are. Um, yeah. It's the same dates as as NARBC. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. Which we. Yeah. You know. Well done, guys. Well yeah, done. I, well, we tried. <laughs> yeah. I certainly don't want. I certainly don't want to upset. Uh, you know, NARBC, and and we of course told Potter that you know we were kind of screwed. That it's really the only date they could give us for fall, uh, which we're yeah. sure we'll get into all this, but. Uh, yeah, I hate that we're competing for that weekend because there's obviously friends of mine like you guys that I want there, but also that's a show that you typically go to NERBC and I don't want to take from them. And so, anyway, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, we'll talk. We can we, we can we can expand more on it, but yeah, I I do want to if I can't make it out in September, you know, next year definitely want to get out to one. So it is it is on the agenda within the next calendar year to get out to one with y'all. So hang on, hang um, on, I got to respond to Courtney here real quick. Oh, had to. Uh, he he knows he could just type and comment, right? He's he's gonna go mail a letter. I have a feeling he's showing up with something different. He's Do you think? Author. Okay, so let's guess. Do we think it's another? Oh, it is another shirt. He got jealous because I got nice shirt, Patrick. And what what just happened, Troy? Were you jealous? What happened? No, I just wanted to show Courtney that I had her shirt with me. That's sweet. Yeah. I mean, mine's downstairs if it helps, but yeah, no, it he, me, so probably not. And now Nick and Chase feel like shit because they don't they're not wearing Leviathan shirts. So. I don't I don't have one. Yeah. Sorry. Mm. So that's on them, really. Yeah. yeah. But they are but they are coming to the April All American Reptile and Plant Expo. And so maybe they'll bring Nick a shirt. Maybe. A shirt. Uh Courtney it. wants you to put the shirt on, Troy. Can you go ahead and just take care of that now? Um <laughs> I mean we we kind of want to see your titties. I love, I love that. He's, I love that you thought about it. That makes me so yeah. happy. Oh my god! We're here, this is a, we're here to talk about Nick and what Nick has going in the world. Not yeah. my titties. It's not true at all. Well, I mean, the titties is fine. Yeah, you, that's you could show us. Yeah, <laughs> that's wait. Courtney, am I going to get demonetized if Troy takes his top off? That doesn't seem fair. I thought male nipples were okay. Can we we talk to demonetized, right? (laughs) Can we talk to Courtney for a minute about my comments being erased from your guys' podcast the other night? Wait, what? Remember, I told you that I commented. Oh, yeah. I I mean, we can we can. yeah, we can take 30 seconds. And (laughs) Courtney, were you deleting Troy's comments off of the podcast the other night? (laughs) I made That's, one comment about you and Antoine, and boom, it was gone. Apparently, Sorry, somebody was deleting Antoine. Troy's stuff. I don't. It wasn't me. Molly doesn't have the ability to do it, which tells me that it was Courtney or Stephen. Yeah, what a bum. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's amazing. Anyway. Patrick, what was, your, what was your best or worst? Let's get that done. Oh, yeah. Uh, it got cold here was absolutely the worst. I fucking hate the cold. I specifically did not move further north because it's cold. I grew up in Texas where it's not cold. I hate the cold. It got cold again, and I'm very upset about that. Um, the best there wasn't a wildfire at the facility again. That was a huge win, actually. And like Andre and I talked about all week about how it was nice not having to evacuate a building for the whole week. So it's a win. Um, we also put in an offer on a new facility, so 
if that gets accepted, that immediately becomes the new uh, the new best. So we'll see. Um, it'll be nice. Get a little bit more space. Um, no, Patrick, oh, you got TikTok coming back. I'm sorry. Also, Molly is very happy. It turns out Molly's best of the week is our TikTok got unbanned. Hooray! A shame. Why was it banned? Uh, because Molly changed uh, the website on the account from our link tree to our actual website, and apparently that was a problem, and it banned us. Oh. I don't know. Hmm. That's the story Molly's telling anyway. I actually have no right. idea why it got banned. Uh, in case your sister might have got a little weird on TikTok, because that's my that's assumption what I was gonna at this say, point. She was probably using the company TikTok for... Uh, yeah, I, yeah. You yeah. gotta see what she does on Pornhub, Chase. <laughs> oh man! You know what? She's classier than that. She, she's That's only true. Fans probably kind of perfect. Yeah, no, it's only fans and feet pics. We all know that. Come on, she's a I'm classy sorry, twenty-two year old. Anyway, that's for a long time. I've heard much worse things from much worse people. <laughs> Ooh, I'm curious about the much worse people part. Oh, we won't go that. <laughs> We're not going to go there. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, all right. Anyway, uh, Nick, you've been around a while. I, I I I have existed for a while. Yes. Yeah. In the in the industry specifically, you've been around a while. Yeah, we started, we started really young. Uh, I was six months old, seven yeah. months old. Yeah. I, I mean, if you wanted to go like a real story, like my first snake I caught, I was two years old. Okay. All right. My parents bought me one because they were scared I was going to catch a rattler and just get bit and die so they were like oh let's buy him a snake so i i I owned a snake since i was two obviously i didn't take care of it i was two years old yeah like all of us hardcore herpers can't pretend that uh we took care of animals when we were like three and four years old um but yeah so i had that our first clutch of anything was 2002 i think we had bearded dragons and i accidentally bred garter snakes that i had caught and kept and had like a weird little vivarium full of grass um which is how i learned that they gave live birth which is gross Uh, so disgusting yeah yeah i people don't realize how smelly live birth is from reptiles Um, oh i remember smelling michael when he came out just Troy, did you sniff your child when he was birthed? Like immediately? Did you just? No, but I did get asked to leave, like leave or sit down because I was making comments about wanting to put my hand inside Lisa while she was cut open, and I told the yeah. guy and the lady, like, "Hey, listen, I have a GED, and this is probably the only time I'll be able to put my hum- my hand inside the human body." And they were like, "Troy, you need to sit down, or you can leave." Anyways, back to Nick. Okay. Wow, um, that was a lot to take in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, anyways, <laughs> first uh, first ball python clutch was 2004. Um, oh wow, that's really early. Yeah, Nick, yep. you, Nick, uh, how old would have you been in 2004? You're young. Fuck, what 20, 20 years ago? So I was 11. Oh yeah. yeah, wow. Yep, still young. Um, I still get called a kid, which is funny because I have two children now, but. Mm um you are still a child though it's okay yeah yeah you know and i think i'd rather that than the old crotchety old man so yeah you could be but, troy that's a problem yeah yeah he's he's old um yeah so 20 years ago um so this is our 20th year of breeding ball pythons uh i've bred like 40 different species of reptile um i don't know the exact number anymore but um, I keep different stuff. I have some projects of scrub pythons, Angolan pythons, uh, olive pythons, a bunch of Coleonyx banded geckos. So, um, yeah, I've been around a while. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, all right. What was the first clutch? Pastel to normal. There I it mean, is. I mean, that's still a, yeah. that's a great clutch in 2004. Yeah. Yeah. It, was. That was, it was. that was better than Patrick's normal to normal clutch. Uh, first off, my first clutch was a killer bee to a normal. Check yourself. Oh, that was better than mine. <laughs> you you hatched more pastels than I did. I don't know how many. How many did you hatch out? Uh, I think it was like I had a clutch of eight. Okay. Four. 
Uh, all right, so yeah, you, you didn't get destroyed on the odds, yeah. No, that's fair. no, it didn't. It didn't ruin it for me, and I was like, I'm done. I'm never doing this again. This sucks. Yeah. Like, no. Um, so yeah, pass, I think that pastel was a thousand bucks. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's that that was a money snake. That's awesome, man. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. We, and then we got spiders and pinstripes, and they were all expensive. I I don't think that we ever. I think the first combo we bought was a spider pinstripe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> four grand from brad boa yeah man now you can't now you can't give spiders i think i was literally just at a show and my i had my part-time employees working with me and yeah boa walks up and goes do you breed spiders and he was like i think they have a couple spiders left because like I, i've had them forever and yeah. some of the projects i need and uh He's like, yeah, yeah, we have them. And she's like, I don't buy from spider breeders and walks away. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I, I usually do that a little more like, <laughs> no, no, I'm, 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 I'm getting out of them. We're getting out of yeah. them. He was like, yeah, we do. Yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, actually, we have a hundred back in the rack right now. Like, yeah. yeah, we just breed them constantly. How many do you want? Yeah. hundred, hundred breeder females. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I, I think we've just about cleaned up all the spider. I think... I have a pet in the building. His name's Dumbledore. He was my first ball python I ever bought. Andre hates him with an undying passion because he takes up Brack's pace. Uh, but Dumbledore will never leave. Uh, and then I think we have one. Yeah, and then we have a spider pied female actually. Okay. Uh, that's been around forever. I think I have. Uh, two. Yeah, I've got. I've got. A, I've got a buzz. Oh, you've got a buzz. That's right. You have the buzz. Yeah, yeah. the buzzle. Yeah. The buzzle, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Sent us pictures. It's a good yeah. one. No, I, I think we have two left. Uh, so that anyone that hates spiders can not hate me. And only because they have like our codon projects that we are trying to isolate and figure out better of. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Cool. Yeah. It is what it is. I so mean, how many ball yeah. do you have like now? Like, what's the size of your, your collection? Just for, I think we have 400. Yeah. So we, we mostly work. I, I mean, I get in there at usually like six to six thirty every morning work until we head out to a job site and then do stuff from, we get back at like five o'clock until six thirty to get home. So most of my stuff's done mornings and evenings. And, uh, I guess I'm, I'm mostly doing it myself these days, but that's fine. Yeah. Wow. So that's, that's a lot though, especially, you know, yeah. All this. yeah, I mean, full-time other business and then now a show and, uh, two children and a wife that you don't want to end up divorced to. So, uh, yeah, it uh, sounds need, like the kids got to go. Kids, I mean, got to get rid of the kids. <laughs> kids are the problem there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it. So no, but it's good. Uh, I, I think, I think there's a little bit more balance that can be figured out. Um, I did get into plants during like right before COVID happened. So I like had another thing that I was doing a lot of, but good, good. Then they, the prices went down a lot on those and I don't want to waste my time sending out a $20 package. So wait, are you yeah. telling me the market's dead there too? It's not dead. Oh. There, there was like a, a plant that sold for 35 grand in Korea the other day. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's like a morph of a uh, monstera. Um, we all know what that is, so thank yeah. you for using that yeah. name. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep pretending. Uh, what's it's it? a morph of a monstera. <laughs> well, yeah, it's the, big ones. it's it's the big ones that you see at like every store, like the big leaf that has the splits in it. Mm-hmm. It's like an elephant oh, okay. leaf. Okay, yeah. I think they call it. I was gonna say, Nick, just don't forget we're ball python breeders. So yeah, well, we I, literally I, know nothing about anything but snakes called ball pythons. Well, I I watched Megan's podcast how painful was that to watch oh, he oh. made fun of us dude he he thought it was pretty <laughs> funny that none of us understood that boas were or that that, that they were from the boa family and were live birthing you know animals <laughs> i okay. will i will never we're live the moment people. now i yeah. gave troy a cheat sheet anything from this side of the world the new world is yeah like okay colubrids if it's like big it's a boa that's amazing I uh, literally, I'll never live down the moment the day before where I was looking through stuff and I was actually trying to look at different morphs on Morph Market. And Andre goes, 
I clicked on pythons or something and he's like, you know, they're boas, right? And I was like, yes, click. <laughs> I do. I clicked the wrong thing. It's fine. Yeah. He's like, he's like, you're welcome. I was like, thank you. <laughs> yeah. At, yeah, we, at this we, point, if it's not a hog nose and not a ball python, I'm truly lost. I, yeah. I just told Troy, I, I was like, you probably shouldn't talk to our vendors that don't do ball python. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only allowed to talk to the ball python vendors. That's part of the part of the contract. Fortunately, yeah. that's 87% of the industry, so you're fine. And not, not well, we've tried, to, we've tried to keep that number down. Uh, so you know, <laughs> Let me know how that works out. <laughs> yeah, so far, so good. Yeah, our show's full. Man. Oh, I'm not surprised. And only like three gutter vendors and then a couple of knife vendors Ooh, and then yeah. maybe no, yeah, yeah maybe like that. one candle None vendor. Yeah. It's good. Have, well, I think we have a diaper vendor too. Oh, that makes sense. No, that's that's good. Say, guys, for all the babies in the industry. Vendor, actually, deodorant would be better. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, so so when I was an undergrad, I, I bought and sold Pokemon cards and I set up at a tournament one year and I brought deodorant and I was selling <laughs> and it was amazing. I was taking like cans max funny. body spray. It was yeah. so great. It would be funny to like set up a table with just, yeah, like just a bunch of deodorant and I wonder if people would be offended. Uh, uh, I can tell you started? people got real yeah. fucking upset. Like, like the people that need it the most are like, that's offensive. That joke isn't funny. And then, like, somebody would come and buy a can and then assault that person with the axe body spray. I was like, well, I see why you were upset about this being here. We'll brand it. We'll, yeah. we'll get all American logo on it. And we'll yes. Sell it. And we're like, oh, it was just a cheap enough thing for merchandise. We yeah. it against you. Yeah. Nick, <laughs> if I put you on the spot and ask you what vendor you're most excited for at our show, what would you say? Mm. Yeah, let's play favorites real quick. <laughs> right off the bat. I mean, Potter would do it, so. I mean, there were people that I was trying to get that I was like, I would would still love. Um, but <laughs> I think, I don't know, there's a company called 402 Exotics. They have like weird little species like uh, Kenyan zebra skinks. I actually used, I bred them before and they like the fuck is a Kenyan zebra. Hold on. You keep cool. talking. Sorry. Dude, uh, Nick, Nick knows like every reptile known to man, by the way, just so you guys understand. And I'm not kidding. Like he'll tell you the scientific name, like where it was from, what it, nerd. How it reads. I like, am. Oh, those are cute. And, yeah. So they, oh. they live communally. They actually like, they will live together um in the wild they don't yeah. leave like family units so like one of the only communal lizards um live birth uh trachylepsis dichroma so you can see how nerdy i am and i haven't mm. typed anything in well done uh, sir well done and uh yeah i so they they breed them and i was like oh i could probably get a pair again you know and my wife would kill me so <laughs> i always i always wanted to get some red-eyed uh crocodile skinks yeah. I always thought those were really cool. They're really cool. Um, I just want some otters. Once again, you just need to buy one and I will reimburse you. That's all it takes. I, I bet you in Iowa you can own them. Yes. Hey, Troy. I Abby has them four of them coming in on Friday, this coming Friday. Abby has Who four does? of them coming in. And Abby. Oh, and Abby does. They're, they're gonna have to bo- yeah, they're going to have to bottle feed them. They're small. They're tiny. <laughs> and they may end up at my house. They may oh, my house. Troy, you're gonna make Troy like fly out there. And yeah. On when, are, when are they coming out to your house? Um. So they arrive to the zoo in Abby's care next Friday. Oh, there well, might be an might there might be Dallas. an impromptu trip to uh to Georgia. I'm closer really than you are, the, Troy. Uh, you know, in my van, I have me and JSA and JD. Like, if I like, why are we heading towards Atlanta? Like we're supposed to be going to Dallas. I'll be like, mm, we need to stop and see some otters. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yep. My wife would die to come bottle feed some otters. So, Dude. Uh, she might watch this whole thing and then be like, we're going. To okay. It, yeah. It's funny though, because Abby was telling me that they have to teach them how to swim, which I didn't <gasps> know that was a thing. And really? I gave Abby a hard time because really Abby's a terrible swimmer. So I'm like, well, they're dead on arrival. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. There's there's YouTube videos or like Facebook reels or whatever 
of like people teaching baby otters and like there's this one video specifically where it's like the first time the otters ever touched water and it's making like these crying like screechy noises as if the human is trying to murder it it's adorable like it's oh god yeah. All right, so late to the mic next week is going to be in Georgia. Uh, Chase, I realize you won't be there, but we're going to be hanging out with Abby, so it'll be fun. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy. Uh, Chase, you're not coming to Dallas, right? Dude. No. Yeah, you're a shitty friend. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Apparently, Japan is better than Dallas. <laughs> it's weird, though, That's, because, you, you know. Japan? Japan? What? When do you fly out to Japan? Monday morning. Okay. Like this coming Monday morning. Yeah, like in just a few days. Nice, that's dude. Guys, that's that's awesome. awesome. Are you more excited about the sushi or the geishas? Um, sushi for sure. Mm, and Brian, liar. Like, oh, no. It's interesting. I've been watching a bunch of videos, like prepping for the trip, and uh, they have actually like closed down tourists able to go and like get a glimpse of geishas even in like some of the different areas i guess it became like a big thing where the tourists wanted just like a selfie with them and like would annoy them so they actually shut it down to where like tourists can't even go down like walkways i'm not surprised there i mean that feels like shutting off the red light district for some reason like that's just Uh, (laughs) i don't know just feels have you been to japan no, not no. Oh, there it. It's a different world. It's yeah. Wild. Like yeah, I'm I'm ready for it. Yeah, it's it, actually I think their eel. Like I I liked their sushi. Their eel was a like ten times better. Like their barbecue. Okay. Yeah. I'm Interesting. I can tell you all that Nick makes a really good flank steak. Ooh, thanks. Yeah. I didn't burn that my food this time. <laughs> very very yummy. Oh. Nick, were you the individual that uh, torched the hamburgers last time or whatever oh, yeah. y'all were cooking? Oh, oh okay. Yeah. That was the first time I've ever done it, too. Like, oh, did was it being around Troy? Did that make you nervous? Did it make me nervous that Troy was there? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to leave him with my wife. Yeah. Um, so I was, <laughs> that makes man, sense. He doesn't actually. mind leaving his children with me. He's just worried yeah. about his wife. Yeah. Which is funny because what's that say about me? Because I'm always trying to leave my wife with Troy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, no. You're probably gonna marry the Starbucks girl someday, anyways. That's true, especially <laughs> after tonight. It sounds like. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, Chase has a Starbucks girlfriend. Mm. Uh, That's a yeah. lot of girlfriends. She yes. gives him free Apparently. macchiatos, if you know what yeah. I mean. You didn't know, yeah. you didn't know you had those, Chase. That you just keep learning about more. Yeah, it, I actually have no idea. I just actually, how many I believe. I have. Yeah, she was there in the bathroom with you and Lisa the last time I think I saw you take my wife into the <laughs> yes. bathroom. Let's uh, please elaborate on that more. It, it just shocks me how much space are in the stalls at Tinley. That's that's really what I'm amazed at. It's, it's, it's just the handicap. It's actually like just the handicap stall. <laughs> no, it's the they private little one. one. <laughs> you got at least like say the private one. It's got enough space. <laughs> Mm-hmm. No. no, no, immediately Chase is like, we use the handicap one so we can <laughs> we can cause the disabled's a hindrance. <laughs> Chris Eaton's gonna come for you, Chase. He's coming for you. Hey, he's on here right now. It's funny you said that. Chris, I love you, Chris. But seriously, you should get mad at Chase. He's he's taking up yours and Sean's stall, which is inappropriate at best. <laughs> Just the taking up the stall part. Nothing else that's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else is inappropriate. All of that's approved. It's just the using yeah. that specific stall. I just need more space. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I love that's it. it. Uh, Nick, we're going to get back on track here for a moment. <laughs> okay. Uh, because these two are yahoos. I like um, I like Troy trying to be professional this episode. He's like, my one. business partner's here. I'm going to be professional. I'm, I'm over here. Like, I'm pretty sure I can qualify for a handicap sticker. Troy's like, whoa, we got to calm down. We've <laughs> gone too far. <laughs> Nick, uh, I apologize for these people. I don't know yeah. why I'm here. It's okay. I I, I think I've watched and I, I, I decided to come. Yeah, here. if you watched Megan's episode and still chose to come on, <laughs> it's on you, bud. It's on you. I was like, hey, I no. want to talk about like cool reptiles. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. Just ball pythons. That's it. And we don't no, we can to- talk about we can talk about hog noses, uh, ball pythons. I think Canova owns like 
one or two retics, right? Bolins, yeah. Um, I've owned Bolins. Yeah, we can. I know nothing about the retics. Yeah, uh, we can talk about how I've had a couple of mo- uh, monitors suicide themselves. So we've got some oh. conversation on other species. It's easy. Oh, wait, suicided themselves. Oh, dude, had a uh, a big uh, T negative water monitor or uh, had T negative water monitor. She got egg bound. That was fun and died. Yeah, that was rough. And then we had a pair of uh, black tree monitors and we went out of town and we came back. We found the female with her head stuck between the side of the container and a rock. Oh, I actually, I had a, uh, I had a Cuban rock iguana do something similar like back freaking melamine cages. Yeah. Or like through the whole thing for the light. Mm -hmm. And he got above the wire that was stapled up and hung himself. Just literally suicided. Yeah, literally. It's so heartbreaking. And after that, we were under and I were like, well, we're done with lizards for now. Of course, now we have skinks, so you know here we are. But yeah, they, that, that's easy. Like the, the things that like need the lights are like lots of like, exactly. Things. Yeah, it's hard. Like so, the, I, I've told myself I'll never get a big rock iguana again until yeah. I'm on land and can like build a right for them. A proper setup. Yeah, yeah. I was telling Nick tonight. We Lisa and I have Australian water dragons, and we bought oh, a yeah. we bought a six foot by ten foot greenhouse that's meant to be outdoors. Yeah. Uh, we built it in our basement and we we're trying to make it a giant, you know, cage for our little Australian water dragons. And so um, that's our project at the moment. I forgot Dude, to that's... that cage in the garage, Troy. So you can actually see like a cool way. Yeah. To do I was, Nick and I were grabbing some stuff and he's got uh, a cage out there. He's working on that, uh, you know, he foam and he's been painting and it looks really neat. And, but I didn't get to get out and take a real look at it. So I'll have to do that when I'm over next. With all my free time, I've been to, actually. Yeah. You know, Lauren would probably yell at me and tell you that it's been in there for three years at at the current state it's in. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, we'll get there. Well, I mean, if me and Lauren need to take the kids, you know, and go do something together uh, and give you some free time, man, I'm happy to take Lauren anywhere you'd like me to take her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I I do trust you at this point, Troy. It's okay. Um, I I know my right. wife. She's actually a lot stronger willed than you. You know her. She she yes. probably beat your beat your head in before you even got close. <laughs> She's also a a, a gun carrying woman, uh, and so I you know I can't mess with her. She might gun me down. She could. Yeah, legality might be a little rough, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. But she is a smoke show. Let's just. She's not here. We we. She should be. She should make an appearance. She would not she i no. said hey come over here and she said no i don't want to huh. it's <laughs> funny my wife says the same thing when troy's around it's weird yeah <laughs> my wife says the same thing yeah <laughs> well but what's funny is that you were just here she just doesn't want to be on a screen so yeah yeah mm-hmm. uh, my wife likes when i leave and chase is supposedly going to japan um mm. but We'll see when I get Japan's home. All the way in Iowa. The way yeah. in Iowa. The way in Iowa. Yo, Iowa. A very well known town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder if Lisa's watching tonight. She's been watching lately. I haven't even told you guys this yet. Why is she watching? I'm uncomfortable all of a sudden. I don't know. Like, she w- started watching a couple episodes ago. She and I came really home sad. and she, like, said something. And I was like, oh, did Joe tell you that or something? And she was like, no, I was watching. <laughs> And I was like, what? Aww. And and she was like, yeah, I watched the whole thing. And now she's watched like every time. So I don't know if she's here or not. If she is, maybe she'll say hi in the comments. I don't know. She's probably watching well, because like she's like a business partner as well, technically. So she's like, I have to make sure he doesn't say something that gets us canceled. That happens well, from time to time. That's what Chase and I are here for, apparently. We're here to, to make yeah. sure none of us get canceled. It's good. Yeah. You know what? We've made it 32 episodes without anything truly cancelable yet. So I'm pretty proud. I mean, I mean, there, I mean is an episode, there's an yeah. episode that's that's not arable. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, touche. There yeah, is in oh, fact an was... episode that we all would have been canceled immediately, like six minutes in. Yes. Um yep. did you have a certain guest on that? 
causes those issues. Uh, it was summer. It was summer. From it, was, it was actually summer from Canova. Okay. <laughs> um, we so that was uh, it was a Friday or Saturday night after a NERBC Arlington show, and we were all back at the Airbnb. And I was like, hey, like we've got summer. I think we had John Dag. Uh, it was Chase Troy. It was a bunch of us. And I was like, I'm just gonna turn the mic on so it picks up everybody, and like let's just chat. And yeah, what I learned that day is like we can't air our actual conversations. It turns out, <laughs> like yeah, it got bad it, quick. It turns out. Uh, I mean, when I, questionable. It, when I think it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> there was a point in the recording because I went back and listened to it where I hear Troy in the background go, "Summer, we can't yeah. air this episode now." Yeah, I was like. Like a like a kickback. Like what did you just say? Yeah. I was just like oh oh buddy. I actually um funny way to bring that episode up now. I deleted it this morning when I was clearing oh. storage space, so it's gone forever now. You're no, safe. I was just gonna yeah. tell you, man. I wanted you to send it to me so I could listen to no. it. Damn it! I'm sorry. I it is it is deleted forever now. So it is yeah, no more. Great power comes great responsibility, huh, Patrick? Uh. <laughs> I I didn't even download like a copy for just in case. I just hit delete and said no. Delete. Just, yeah. Just in case he's like yeah. done with you guys. He's like, I'm gonna air it. Yeah, I just yeah, exactly. It was, it, he's like, I, I'm like, gonna sync them all now. Yeah. I'm not joking. That was the thought. I was like, I don't want to be in a situation where one of us is mad at the others and like something in the future goes wrong. I'm deleting yeah. this because their, their whole career is going down, so they're just like, screw you. You're all going down. Well, the I problem mean, is like will be Troy. The first- yeah. Oh, I mean, like Troy and I, Troy and I were about to make the same joke on each other at the exact same moment. Yeah, I can't even do it now. Never mind. Canova's going out. They're done. <laughs> yeah, fuck Canova. I mean, wow. Chase is over at Canova making false videos and stuff. So, <laughs> are we going to do that today? Can we just <laughs> no, have a no, moment of? Can we, can, can we have a moment of silence for Justin? He's had a yeah. rough two weeks on social media. Man, <laughs> poor guy. Like. I guy didn't do anything wrong and he gets drilled. Yeah. <laughs> Just like your wife when she's with Chase. <laughs> nice. Nick, if so you could bad. only keep one partner between me and Lisa and you had to shove the other one off a cliff, who would it be? <laughs> that's the easy <clears throat> answer. So you can make the website, but that's done. I see where this is I mean, going. You tell me how often you can't lift things. Yeah, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa's pure. So I told her like Thursday, like maybe my dad could help us do tables, and she's like, "You're not going to do any tables. You're not going to lift any." And I was like, <laughs> "True. <laughs> I'll tell you where they go." So what? Essentially, what that's going to be is like I still have to keep doing physical labor. Yeah, yeah. Troy. What are you bringing to the table? Uh. Like, uh, don't say it out loud. Hey, Lisa needs someone in her court. <laughs> I can't say yeah. I'm gonna throw Lisa off the. He's- I'm really good at uh, sending invoices and asking people to pay oh. us money. Well, I'll, 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 I'll be serious, and you've done you've done a lot that I could not do. So you have. Oh, that's so gift. sweet. He's too kind to me. Yeah, yeah. Nick, that's so sweet. Uh, as uh, a sponsor of the show, do I get a T-shirt? By the way. Yeah, I'll get you a T-shirt. We'll we'll autograph it too. It's a hundred dollars, but you get it. You get it. Uh, that checks out. <laughs> that seems about right. It's funny because Troy charged me five thousand dollars for the sponsorship, and mm. then I looked on the website; and it was only three hundred. So, uh, Nick, he might be embezzling money. Shit. Yeah. Nick's I, like, I mean, yeah. I, I'd say with the amount of sponsors we had running in, I don't think he charged five grand to everybody. So. <laughs> True. <laughs> Yeah, we might have to next time. We, we might have to redo the do the sponsorship dollars. Nick, do you do you know do you know Darren at Salone Morphs? I do. Darren's great. If I've known you him for and Darren, time. if you and Darren got in a fight to keep the Salone name, who mm. who wins? I don't want to be mean, but I'm like three feet taller than Darren is. Oh, but the, he could be scrappy. Then he gets you at the he's, knees. I, I I think he's actually he's got he's he's got bigger muscles than I I currently have. So I think I'd be in trouble. And he'd probably hit a lot of places that I couldn't. I think like, we should do it. I think for like a USR deal, we get 
we get you and you and Darren together and we fight it out for the Sloan name. There's a few Sloans though. There's a well, Sloan the other ones don't matter. Just you two. Um, oh, okay. Well, I shouldn't have said their name out loud, Ben. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Here we are. It's good. Uh, I think they mostly great. do frogs, though. So. Yeah. No one likes frogs. Not no. really. Frogs no, are actually awesome. Not a single person. Not frogs right. are actually pretty awesome. I've heard Josh's frogs is pretty popular. Yeah. Just a little yeah. bit. I really want a. I really want like a mm. really neat like dart dart frog vararium or whatever. It's. I. I would love just to something to to watch. Uh, Nick is our like made by variums. Like yes. just tell him you want one and he'll make it for the show. Um, Nick, have you raised dart frogs as the person that's bred everything? Apparently, I have not bitch. raised dart frogs. I, I, uh, I was wrong, <laughs> bitch. I'm a bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, we brought you on this show because you did everything, and now you're like, okay, well, I, don't I know there's scientific that. names if that helps. But no, because because I want to know how hard they are to keep alive. <laughs> well, I've, I I've kept frogs, and I've yeah, but dart frogs are they dart. different? Yeah, you got to keep them cooler. Like, yeah. You, like for a ball python person, you'd probably kill them in your room immediately. Yeah. Do you think they're harder to keep alive or pronounce their scientific name? Mm, probably, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I That's, mean, I guess, who's saying the scientific name? A ball python there, reader. Yeah. Is there the, a the scientific name, name that you can't say? Me? Oh, I'm sure yeah. I say so many of them wrong. Hmm. I can't say any of them. But I know, I know, like what they're spelled. I just probably say them wrong. Like I don't yeah. speak very good Latin. I uh, Nick, I had that. I had that. Really stupid. I had that problem in medical microbiology. I knew how to spell all of them. There was Zero. no chance, like zero chance, I could ever pronounce ninety nine percent of them. Like by the way, Nick, zero chance. Patrick's a doctor. No, that's, that's true. Conversation is going. It wasn't going there. I was just connecting on a personal level with Nick yeah. about his inability to properly pronounce names. Possibly, he may be pronouncing them right. We don't know for sure. But I mean, I've said them to some people, and like they've not been like you're a fucking idiot. So that's you know that's a step in the right direction. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's and like certain people that you probably they'd be like you're an idiot. Like oh, okay, even better. Like, yeah, I don't know. I like it. Who okay. Could you talk who could you talk to? Like Ar Armin, I think you have Armin coming on the show. He probably knows scientific names of all those crazy little geckos pretty well. And yeah, I've spoken to him. He's so got, I guess he's got a cool he's setup. I'm an idiot. Like to go to his place. Yeah. You know, I wanted him to vend our show, but he said no. He hasn't said he, anything. He mm, talked to a, me a little bit. That's, he told that's us no. that. Yeah, he. I, it's the drive, right? Like. Um, sure. That's his. That's his biggest concern is the is the travel, and so. Um, where's he? Where's he based out of? He's in, he's in California. Yeah, and he's, was he's he, in Southern California. So was he at Pomona? He is yeah. at Pomona. Yep. Maybe that is the table. He's he has all the micro geckos, well, right? Yeah. I mean, y yes. Yeah. Okay. I did see his table. I definitely saw at the table, and I, I almost bought some because I really wanted them. But then I was like, How am I going to get those back to Virginia? Um, I want some. They're Just pretty why? awesome. Why? Why, why didn't why didn't you ship them? That was effort. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make an impulse purchase. He, he was too busy. He was too busy trying to get JT's pants off in the hotel room. That took oh, zero man. effort. That was zero effort. <laughs> there was no effort required. We we walked into the room and JT's clothes were off. It was oh, yeah. That's yeah. easy. JT's JT's easy to undress. Yeah, absolutely it just doesn't take much but you you could do what i do. so when i was 12 i brought back some of my first band of geckos i caught them yeah. in arizona and i put them in a bubble gum container in my pocket and went through security with the first pair of band of geckos i ever bred this was uh pre 9 11 no oh no i was yeah it was tw what how long ago is that nine years ago no fuck no not you 19. should do that math again real fast. That's bad. 19 years ago. Wait, what? <laughs> you should do that math ago. again real quick. 19 years ago. So 2000 and 2005. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. I mean, that's you. You're full on smuggling, my man. I yeah. apparently, I apparently did. I, my, my you mom and my mom was like, are you, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, <laughs> mom, I saw a video of Tom Crutchfield. He's my idol. I had to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did oh, I say that out loud? We're, we're, here we go. We're going to get canceled. It's, 
we're not getting canceled. We're just gonna get. We're gonna start at. some stuff. So we're just gonna, gonna get murdered. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get an email from somebody. Oh, it's just, <laughs> I hope you took over the late to the mic email. <laughs> I did. I did. Look, I like I like how reptile people like get a little squeamish when we talk about smuggling as we pretend that basically every pet species we have in the industry is because some fucker stuffed it down his pants. Okay, yeah. let's be real. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's probably oh, how many a lot of species like them. people have but they just don't talk about. Uh yeah. Or my favorite right now are like the blue tongue skink morphs. And oh. somebody'll be like, they'll be like, Yeah, I got this one. I'm like, oh, where? From another breeder. Oh, really? Uh huh. He's not lying. Yeah, he's not lying. That's true. I'm like, do you want to talk about that breeder? Like, can I buy some from him? He's like, you don't no. want to buy from them. I, like, I don't. I don't blame him. Like those freaking blue tongue skink morphs uh, that are in Australia are nuts. Uh, they're so cool. Even have you seen? I mean, I'm I'm sure you have. Like the hyper melanistic ones. Yeah, dude. Uh, I'm trying to try get. To have, uh, we should try to have Luke on. We could try to make some hours work or we could pre-record him or something. Yeah, we could do that. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get some black ones right now and it's, it's be, been exceedingly difficult, but I, I got my, do you think if you get black blue tongue skinks, it'll make you less racist. I mean, he does okay, that's too much time. Uh, I, so I anyway. own them. So I don't think so. Like, <laughs> I don't think that, I don't think that would help you at all. Reading them. So it's almost, <laughs> It's kind of cool. worth. I have white ones though. Does that help? Like, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Sure. I yeah. don't know. Um, yeah. yeah. No, the blue tongue skink morph. So over in Australia, I'm looking forward to those really making their way over here. It's I mean, be I good. think they eventually have to. Oh yeah. I mean, they're they're. I have been told by fairly reliable sources. Uh, they're they're making their way in regularly. It's just the people that get them. Don't want to share it yet. Well, you know? like, Which, the, the, no. like the New Zealand get the Nauticalis, the like super green geckos from New Zealand that are super rare. You ever sure. seen? Them? Yeah, totally. They're not here. They're not in the U.S. At least oh, legally. No. Wait, what are what are they? Nauticalis. They're uh, what do they call them? What's the common name? Shit. How do you spell the scientific name? All Let's about that. N a t n a u t. I C U L U S. I'm probably wrong. Say it one more time. Not a call us. Hold on. Now I want to see them. Just type in New Zealand green gecko. And it'll pop okay. up. New Zealand green gecko. Huh. Mm, okay. Wait, is this it? Not a Lena, right? Maltinus, sorry, Maltinus. Or is it yeah, these things? It. Yeah. yeah. There's okay. some in Canada. If you can get those down here, you can probably sell them for like 20 grand a pop for at least the first five years. Let's they breed start. pretty easily. Let's do it, guys. Yeah. Are we like I'm not saying on a podcast that tens of people listen to that we should smuggle in a species, but guys. I bet I bet you Scott Wilkinson, who has has had Fiji Island iguanas, has had those, and we could probably get him to Bring some over to the U.S. for us. As long as I'm what not the one smuggling them, it yeah. won't be a smuggle. Oh. We'll just get, we'll just have to go through some heavy paperwork, and I'm sure he's done it. Okay, I'm in. Let's do it, guys. Let's yeah. bring in some cool green geckos that may or may not suicide cool, themselves. Man. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm actually really intrigued. These things are actually really neat. Yeah, I, I like the 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 really green uh, the day geckos, the or morning geckos. What are they, day geckos, morning geckos, day the little geckos. tiny guys. Felsuma, There's, yeah, yeah, the Calsuma, yeah, that's Felsuma, <laughs> Felsuma, yeah, Felsuma, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a guy, uh, uh, Kurt, you doing me, uh, like blue morph. Yes, he was at cool. he was at Tinley, right? Yeah, he actually he posted. He was like, "Hey, I'm looking for new shows," and I was like, "Come to ours." And he's having heart yeah. surgery. So wait, Jeff, Jeff is saying, Jeff, are you talking about these geckos? They are live bears. Yeah. Really? And their gestation is 300 days. Oh, That's that crazy. poor lizard. New Zealand does some wild <laughs> reptiles, like the freaking uh, tuataras and all that shit. Those they they should really like let some get into breeding. That'd be that'd be cool. Although it takes Jeff, a year. To get when are we getting Jeff? When are we getting Jeff on the podcast? 
we we have a bit of a cool off period between snakes and the fat man and us there's there's an agreement that we've made with the snakes and the fat man so oh. it'll be a few months but we are going to have him on all right does i've already jeff talked to jeff about it yeah jeff's does aware jeff want to, does he want to hear about my incubator story no not right now <laughs> no we still want him to come on the show <laughs> <clears throat> no go ahead tell him the story it's fine jeff Oh, wait, Enjoy. How, how's it going, Troy? Is it in place now? <laughs> no. Uh, no. Um, Is it ever I, going if, to be in anybody, place? If anybody wants to know how to take a Wilbanks incubator completely apart, I'm your guy. Um, I'm kidding. Fuck. I didn't take it completely apart. Uh, but it does not fit in my house. And so it's currently at my mom and dad's house in their garage. And I'm dropping it off to uh, Joe at JSA. Uh, in a couple weeks, because no matter what I do, unless I take the steps out of my house, is the only way I can get it to where I want it. Yeah. You need the so, steps. Though. Yeah. What about like a crane to like lower it down the steps? Oh, I went yeah. down the steps. Yeah. It got, it's not good. So, yeah. Did Great. you measure before buying? No. I did. And I assumed that I was going to be able to make the, the, the swing of the steps work and i was wrong that's rough fortunately you have a friend willing to buy it well i'm giving it to him because you know he's wow. just a real nice guy and uh, okay what a good joe person I, yeah joe and i you know we've we've done some deals <clears throat> in the past and yeah i yeah. probably owe him and so yeah okay it's, we're making it work no this this these are the strong business decisions that have made Best Dress Ball is a true powerhouse in the industry and why Nick chose you as a business partner. It makes sense now. It's all checking yes. out. Yes. Get Come Monday, up. Nick and I have another meeting at the at the venue. We will find out. Uh, we've we've mathed it out once already, and we think we are correct. Um, mathed out space down. or numbers? Because I question the space. Uh, I, th I think we've got it. We, we're going to do some double checking. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're, we're trying to see if we can have a room turn into a space for overflow. And oh. it would be discounted because we're not going to be like, hey, pay us full price for a room that you may not have people come into. That's reasonable. It's, yeah. That's a tough sales pitch there. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Little, we little got this room like, in the back. Yeah, a little different it's than the like the rooms that like Tinley had. Because um, this room is legitimately <laughs> right as you walk in. So you can't miss it really, but it's still, yeah. you know, you just don't know if you'll get people to flow through there, but um, okay. yeah, we have, we have kind of a, uh, well, we have a heck of a wait list. And then, you know, beyond that, there's vendors that, you know, would fit that room better and, and I think are willing. And so, yeah, we got to go, got to go do some math. Yeah. Well, you Good. can just do what they did at Daytona a couple years ago. Remember when they forced everyone into that one room and then everyone was pissed because no <laughs> one was showing up like noon we're, in the we're other gonna, room? We're going to force everyone into our educational showroom. Yes. And yes. All the shows back to back and then they can go into the show. It's good Listen, since, the scientific names of everything available yeah. right now. You, you better know. you better know what you're buying, and when you walk out, you better know the scientific name and every morph and everything that's ever happened with. That. You better know this is a Nutella Aglanus. <laughs> Patrick throws Aglanus. names out. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna. You could have just said Aglana, how... Aglana. That's like the easiest scientific <laughs> name on the planet. <laughs> yeah, but the like Nutella Aglanus is way funnier. <laughs> Or the one that, like the thing you breed. Do you even know what ball python's scientific name is? Python Regis. Python Regis. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was actually, I was actually going to get to it. I've had it right on a box before. I was, like, I was worried like for a moment. Eat. I was, I was like, I, I don't even write that out anymore because we have pre-made labels that we just slap on. So you're going to say it out loud, and you're like, oh shit, I'm wrong. I was ready. I was ready for all three of you to be like, are you full on stupid? And I was going to be like, I breed you ball are. pythons. So yes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I swear, Abby. Abby knows every scientific name. Yeah. Pretty much everything in the zoo is exhausting. My wife's a zoologist. She's a yeah. zookeeper, yeah. and she loves books. Like she always, she'll talk to me about stuff at the zoo, and it's like, okay, well, I need it in English and dumbed down real hard. <laughs> yeah. Can you know. explain to me like I'm three? Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I, I can exactly. tell you. I can tell you reptiles. I can't. I 
and it, like obviously I mess up occasionally, but I can't. I couldn't tell you anything else. Like <laughs> I would mess up and not know any of the stuff that your wife is talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's and, got like this dude game she plays with her friends, and she's like, "Hey, what group of what family group do you think this is?" And it, like rattles off three words that I can't even fucking clap the syllables to, and I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, never animals. It was it was always bacteria and viruses and shit. But that was so more you fun. know the, you know the names of everything that like kills us and. No, not everything. Uh, no, I can tell you exactly what Patrick knows about because we got to hear all about it at the Airbnb at Tenley. Patrick swabbed vaginas and did a study on like syphilis and gonorrhea and everything else. And the sure. hang on, it's gonna come to me. The vaginome. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You, you want to expand vaginome. more on that? Um, I don't remember what the vaginome is, but I remembered the word. <laughs> Are you familiar with the term microbiome? It's yeah. It's, yes. Basically, so, it's the entire bacterial biome that that makes up the vagina, or cultivates the vagina. Sleep, yeah, when you sleep with a lady and you put your man parts in the lady parts, your your biome yes uh, switches yeah. to their biome. It can. It can. And, yeah. Yeah. So you can have situations where like your biome is more dominant than theirs or theirs is more dominant than yours and it can actually shift pHs and all kinds of stuff yeah it's it's super beneficial for babies too yeah uh huge that's like yeah. there, there's there's a big debate there's been a big debate for probably 10 15 years about the whole idea of like c sections can start children off on the wrong foot because passing through the vagina is where they get introduced to a, yeah. a lot of gross shit and it helps like jumpstart yeah, the immune system. Huber, Huberman did a whole episode on that. Oh, the, uh, there we go. By it. Yep. Oh. My, my, I've learned a lot of it in the last two yeah. years. Because my wife, I mean, my <laughs> wife really wanted a home birth, but it didn't end up either way. So I, I posted it on our Sloan Reptiles the other day, actually, because we had a videographer and a photographer while she was at home. But I love it. That's, that's, the, the, that's, the, the, gig, that's the kind of gigs I'm looking for if anybody's. Uh, <laughs> You you act like that's like something you want, and then you're gonna be watching a woman push a baby out and be like, "Oh shit!" I don't know, I man. I, I'm so I, like, I the human body is so interesting to me. I would probably in, enjoy videotaping this. I don't know. Maybe well, I, I think I'm sexual with it. So that's yeah, it. I thought you were too. Uh, Troy, no, it's not as fun. Like cutting open a human body is not as fun as you think. It's not. It's kind yeah, of weird. Nobody thinks you're a murderer right now. <laughs> sorry guys uh, he asked me and chase to help him bury a hooker once and i yeah. said no <laughs> chase said yes though so it went smoothly mm -hmm. all the way out there and helped you bury a hooker yeah, there it is. Daytona. i like oh. how molly's over here like for the love of god please move on she's playing the role of hr and pr person for camera at the moment mm -hmm. jokes on you bitch i'm the head of hr yeah <laughs> Uh, my C-section. You know, Molly's is trying to do like a pretty aggressive takeover of your part lately. I've noticed. Oh, very. Go very behind your back to Andre all the time. You gotta be careful. That's okay. I'm okay with it. I I told her if she. I tried to get her to move to Virginia today. She would not do it. I offered. I even offered to get uh, her boyfriend transferred to physical therapy school at MCV, which is a really good school, and I can guarantee him a position afterwards. And she still told me no. No, I'm doing I, what I can. Personally, I don't think Molly should marry that man. <laughs> well, that's shocking. That's shock. Who should she marry, Troy? Um, I mean, I could think of some people. Yeah. Anybody Maybe specific? Bald, brown sugar. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. How many it's women do you want to marry actively? Like, what would happen if? All of like the three women that you constantly harass all said yes at once. Who would you uh, pick? Because I'm pretty sure it's every female. No, so Lisa and I, Lisa and I just had this conversation the other night. Like, yes, if Lisa, I, if she were to die at this very moment, I would disappear. Um, and so I don't, I don't think I would ever marry anybody. And I, and if I certainly wouldn't leave my poor wife for any of these women that I taunt. Maybe. I don't know. 
<laughs> maybe. I like how I, it's not I, an I like definitive. the confidence he had, and then he was like, well, I mean, maybe. Like, I don't yeah, know. He has, you know, he has to live serious. up the character still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. He does have. I. I need Lisa to stick around and carry tables and shit. So. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I love that, that so much. Rat room, so. Yeah. Oof! And if there's one thing we've learned from every reptile breeder, you don't get rid of the rat room person ever. No, she's she does a pretty good job. Yeah. She, she's uh she's pretty great, Troy. You it worked out well for you. Yeah. She must like you. Somebody yeah. needs to. Somebody oh, needs yeah. to. My mom didn't. So, ah, oh, there it is. I. You know what, Troy? Thank you. As much as you like to go with uh, Patrick wants to talk about being a doctor, I feel like you have to bring up a dumpster <laughs> in every episode. Hey, by the way, I talked to my other mother, my mom that raised me. Um, yeah. My my her great grandma. So my great okay. great grandma was a hundred percent Cherokee. Okay. Is that what so you are? I forget. I am Cherokee. So yeah. was she, well, we can talk about it later. That's cool. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know well, what that makes my mom, but, um, and I'm adopted, so it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it wouldn't. Yeah. It'd probably make her like 50% based on, depending on what dad was. So. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Is your mom a Cherokee dad. citizen? I don't know. Interesting. My mom doesn't know. She's 87 years old. She doesn't know anything about that stuff. She would know if she was a citizen. I'll yeah. have to ask her. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a, it's yeah. a, it's a, yeah, it's a thing. Anyway, that's I cool. Think, I think probably for an 80 year old, though, to like, walk in and be like, Hey, I'm Cherokee. Then nowadays to be like, Hey, let's do genetic testing. Like she couldn't have walked back to the Cherokee nation and been like, Hey, I should be part of you guys. So, yeah. so that's the, so with that, that's the thing with the Cherokee nation. It doesn't, like, it doesn't matter if you're a hundred percent. If you're not registered, the lineage dies, and so that's like the thing is like even it, blood blood percentage doesn't matter in the Cherokee Nation. I'm just meaning, like, I'm meaning like when she yeah. was like forty, that oh. there was no way of like testing her. Uh, Touche. Like just a white lady walked in and was like, "I'm Cherokee." Yeah, it's <laughs> they'd be like, "Who are your parents?" And then let's see if they're on the Dawes roll, and if they are, well, we can talk. If not, go away. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. it's good stuff. Interesting. Look at that, Troy. Yeah. Late to the month bingo boards. What, what's that, Chase? You sound like a robot. Like what did you say? The Walmart internet the is just killing him today. Is it still going out? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it's rough. I think Chase was saying we need to get bingo cards for late to the mic that have dumpsters, doctors, <laughs> and Cherokee on them just to see. And some type and then, of sexual harassment. Yeah, and then uh, random animal, uh, reptile species scientific names to see how close yeah. we get to those. You yeah. guys need to start doing that every time. Just bring out a scientific name you've been studying for a week and see if you get it right on the air. Oh my god. No. Yeah. Maybe one well, week. Pretty stupid. No. No. <laughs> yeah. no. I, yeah. You can tell how stupid I was. I said yes to being on this freaking podcast. Yeah, yeah, that was your, that was your fatal flaw. But you know what? You keep trying to say I'm smart, Troy, and I'm here. So I know, man. I think I feel like you did it out of a favor, out of friendship, and I appreciate it. That's the sign of a good friend. <laughs> mm-hmm. I I knew things were going to be great when Nick said I watched the Megan episode and still chose to come on, and I was like, this guy gets it. <laughs> yeah. He gets it. I mean, by the way, Chase. How do you like uh, how do you like my shirt? No, we can't do this. What are you doing? Uh, can we eject uh-huh. Osito him? Can how we, do you uh, like my shirt? No. Monetized. Hang yeah, on. we're not doing we're not doing this. Hang on, I gotta figure out how to touch the wiener part of the shirt. There it is. Troy, uh, right, anyways, we're gonna not go do that today. today. We have we have, th- we have like twenty six minutes left that we have to talk to Nick about Nick and his life. Mm. Okay. Let's find Go. out about Back to on track with Troy. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, tell that? us something. Tell us something you do uh not running a show, not reptile related and not window related. Uh I 
that's a lot of stuff. I hang out with my family. Um, <laughs> Boring. That's, that's, a, that's, I mean, my hobbies are reptiles and the plants and I used to work out, but now I have no time. So that's out Ugh. the window. Yeah, working was, out is so and I can't even pretend that it was like a used to work out. It was like eight years ago, so now I'm just <laughs> now I'm just an yeah. old man that is killing himself on a job site. So good. Um, yeah, I hang out with my family. I don't. I don't even. I don't think we've turned on the TV for five months. <laughs> You're not missing anything. No. 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 Um. Well, you you run a window company with with your fam. I do. Uh, you and your brother were hot and heavy into the ball Python world, but you guys kind of took a step back to help out mom and dad. Is that correct? Yeah. So a little bit of mix. Uh, so when we like really jumped into ball pythons, uh, I was 15 and my parents had won a, a settlement for a botched hysterectomy on my mom. Oh so, God. Yeah. Yeah. They had lost everything. Like we lost everything. We lost houses, we lost cars, all that. And so they had won it a few years after that. And they like, we had kept all the snakes and all that. And they'd seen us breeding them and we'd built a small collection up through it and we'd sell yeah. some stuff. So they're like, well, let's put it into that. Like you guys really love it and do that. So they gave us a, a good little start. We bought out a collection. Uh, that was 2009, uh, bought a champagne for 10 grand. <laughs> um, and then, just from there, like, so right after that, it sort of took off and we started producing, I think it was like 60 clutches a year and we, we brought in good money. So we were paying the bills for my parents for God, I think the last year that we stopped really paying for everybody was 2014. Okay. So you had a good run there. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So it was like 2000, I guess it was like 2008, 2009 to 2014 that was just that was full-time doing that um we did like we did some rats during the time we like became the suppliers to all the pet stores across colorado and all that kind of stuff the denver zoo bought from us and that just sucked um and we did that up until 2017 and i was about to marry my wife and i was like i the last employee quit on us with out any notice and just left and mm. cleaned and i was like i'm gonna sell it while it's doing well and so we did and yeah so we now have the we've been doing windows about 12 years uh my dad had started to jump around doing like selling windows selling insurance that kind of stuff and he got into a company where he was selling the window <laughs> the guy was like ah oh, i i don't want to do it anymore so he pretty much just gave him the company to take over from stuff that had wow. been messed up. and so we were the installer for a while and then we just we just did it 30 33, 33, 33, and we're all three owners. Uh, I'm a class awesome. B here, so I can I can build five story buildings. I don't want to, but yeah, so, nice. Yeah, yeah. Now See, I there's a little bit about Nick. Now you now you guys know who Nick is. That's me. Took I mean, an hour there's, to hour. there's a this is much longer story than that, but yeah. And here I thought he was just the guy that pronounced reptile names properly. <laughs> Yeah, well, improperly. I literally just got the one wrong. So, <laughs> <laughs> trying to give you credit. I'm sorry. <laughs> he, yeah. at least knows, he at least knows how reptiles birth their animals and what class they. That belong. is a step in the right direction. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It depends on which group of people you're talking to. <laughs> you're talking to reptile people. Like, oh, good thing he knows. And you talk to Karen across the street, and she's like, "I think you're going to hell." Yeah, <laughs> the, the plant thing, you know, Nick. Like the plant thing, I, I I've mm -hmm. joked about this, right? You know, Lisa kills plants. That's about as much plant knowledge as we have. But I have dove like deep into. Uh, if you were to look at my Instagram at dinner tonight, man, it's like plant, plant, plant stuff now because it's so interesting. Uh, and so you, you've opened my eyes to something, right? And and the reason I'm saying this is for anybody that's listening that's reptile related. Um, it's interesting to me how closely related they are, right? Like the yeah. genetics of plants and what they've done and changing colors and things like that. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. So if you want to dive down something that you already kind of have an understanding about, you go check out some plants. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it's, it's almost like all of our genetic knowledge is derived from plants. Yeah. Oh, weird. I don't know We're that. Thousands of years. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, so I, I got, got into it because I, I like kept, I had like, uh, 
some green keel belly lizards, if you know that's not scientific name or Gastrophilus persina, that might. Now there you go. Yeah, that's yeah, it. it. Yeah, that was it. Um, Thank so you. I got those and I like, I went into a nursery and I was like, oh, I really want to have like a tree inside the cage and all that kind of stuff. And then I was like, oh, I like, I I had vivariums in the past. I want to do it again. And so I started like growing stuff and then there were like online <clears> people <throat> for auctions. And I was like, oh, that's a rare one. I want to buy that. And like would just bid on auctions for it. And uh, then I started importing stuff from Indonesia that like, which is terrible now. Like the guys were just out there tearing them out of the, the forest. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Which some of them, some of them are good. Some of them are not like, some of them are not just poaching it. They're actually like yeah. the Indonesian government's like, yeah, go out and get the stuff. But I was bringing in stuff that like hadn't been seen in the U S yet. Um, mm. so it was, it, they're fun. I like them a lot. I just, the amount of work to like propagate, do everything. And I was shipping out probably 25, 30 packages a week of all these plants I was auctioning off. And I was like, all right, I got to take a break. Like yeah, I'm up at 4 a.m. packing before I head out to take care of the snakes. And then I'm headed out to go work until 4.30 and then come back and do it all over again. So yeah, it, it is not, and it, it was probably about triple the amount quadruple the amount that I would make now doing the same amount of packages. What do you think the coolest plant is? Like, I, I don't know how to really ask. Just tell me something. Uh, I don't know. I mean, like there's cool ones that are like sundew, like the carnivorous plants that aren't like Venus fly traps. They're not, they're not, there's like not pitcher plants. They, they have like leaves that just are sticky and they look like they sort of glow in the dark. Um, Hold on. Hold on. Let's see yep. here. Do a sundew. I'm going to try. Cool. They're bog sure. plants. There like, we go. If you, if you can't take care of plants, like these kind of plants are like for you because you can leave them in a lot of water. Like they grow in bogs hmm. and then they'll catch fruit flies. So like reptile keepers, keep them in your snake room. Like they will catch them and eat them. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, I don't fly, fly traps. Yeah, are these hardy? What, what is this are like? Hardy? I mean, there are hard ones like to take care of. Like no, I, no, no, hardy. Like I want, I want one that I can't kill. Yeah, just keep it in water. Like that's it. Like keep it in sphagnum moss in water. Mm, see, you add an extra water. ingredient there. You lost me. Well, they got to have something to grow their roots in. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> Nick, on this screen right now, in the middle row. Um, there's like a green and like purpley tangle. Like, Ooh, go okay. right there. Yeah. Yeah. That one. What is that? Is you can see where I'm pointing <laughs> that, this one? that that's a sundew species. So Drosera, uh, is what it is. So that one like curls up as it like, so what will happen? There's a fly in it and you can see that once it lands on it, it gets stuck to the, the ne extra floral nectaries that they send out and then they like curl up and digest it. Oh, that poor fly is fucked. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. So like, what he gets for being a dirty fly. Venus, Venus fly traps are cool, but like they they're so slow, they take forever to like kill like what's in there. Yeah. Or you can get like Nepenthes pitcher plants. Like yeah, yeah, those guys are really cool too. Like they you, the fruit flies Patrick, go in there. Said, yeah, like you knew what he was talking about. I I do know because Travis Weinman breeds those. Yep. Actually, so he does uh, he does like Serencia and like. Oh, I couldn't have told you anything past pitcher plants. I did know what those were only because Travis has them. There's no uh, way to breathe these things. In the, in like, the middle of the screen, I just, I just went a deep dive about these things in the middle of the screen. Like somebody's trying to like grow these in America now. And they're like, oh, super no, Jeremiah, hard. Like, oh, wild, like wild in America or just grow them in general. I think grow them to like the way I took the, the, the series of things I watched was the person was trying to make them that he could then <clears> sell them. So Jeremiah's plants, who I tried to get to be one of our vendors, uh, he's like the biggest carnivorous plant breeder grower in, I think, the U.S. He's like yeah. super, like, I don't know, he's so an influencer, cool. I guess, in the plant scene. Um, mm. But yeah, they're, they're sort of like ball pythons. You can breed them for their pitchers to look different. Um, yeah. They take different species and cross pollinate them and all that kind of stuff. Nice. But, yeah, I mean, I, I've not done a lot of these. I, they're cool. Like, I think they're like the coolest ones. Or like 
Hoffmania is one, and I don't even know the common name of this, so like I couldn't even tell you. It's H O F F M A N I A. I've been going down the uh, uh, bonsai side of things as well. That doesn't like, look very exciting, Nick. I like I like things with like corrugated leaves, mm-hmm. and like they grow tall. So like if you're mm-hmm. a vivarium person and you yeah. have like all these tiny plants are like this big and stuff, like this thing like. I, I can't see the ground, but they'd get like four or five foot tall. But, but do oh, these wow. things eat anything? No. Mm, I'm out. I mean, they eat hard chests, technically. Yeah, but I, I want like, I want a creature that like when a bug or, you know, anything small enough like lands on it, it's like, oh, you fucked. I mean, there you go. Like, get, get is, there a, can, is, is there a plant? You can pull it. Is there a plant out there that eats something bigger than flies and stuff? Like it eats frogs and shit or something? It's a good question. I think I think oh, I've actually definitely. seen like Venus flytraps like yeah. eat tiny frogs. I'm sure like, Venus flytraps and pitcher plants probably like yeah anything small enough to fit in there. I think they're they're not discriminatory. No, so we could fit Chase's wiener in there. Okay, cool. Absolutely, so, that wouldn't even that wouldn't yeah. be an issue I've at all. More. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like I've seen like, good information, yeah. wife. Uh. So, somebody said, I remember when he didn't know how to share the screen. They grow up so fast. I know. I've learned. It took 32 episodes, but I've gotten pretty <laughs> quick at sharing screens these days. No big deal. It's one, of my great, it's one of my great accomplishments. The party <laughs> trick. He literally just starts a stream yard just to show you he can do it. <laughs> my wife got so tired of him. She's like, okay, yay. We're so happy. <laughs> uh plants are yeah plants are cool um my wife kills all of the plants at our home oh my wife kills ours she's not allowed to touch them <laughs> she's not allowed to touch yeah i oh, came God. home one day and she had taken them all outside and like if you don't know like if a plant's not been outside in direct sunlight especially colorado sunlight yeah i came back and they were just crisp all, all done thinking, yeah well, Tony, i know that you were like i just want to give them what they love i was like ah yeah they that's like taking a baby and not ever letting them go outside and then setting them in the sun. <laughs> well, let's try that. Let's see or that just goes. that's oh, kind of oh, like oh. what happens when you put Troy out in the sun, right? It's kind of similar. Yeah. I got really red today. Hey, look at that head. Oh, you did. Jesus. Well, you're like Avatar. Get that, <laughs> get that arrow going down. He does. What were you? Were you wearing a hat or like anything else on your head, or just you went just straight commando? Yeah. Well, okay. and Michael, like Michael's, like his neck is like damn near purple. Ooh. We, we, we don't wear sunscreen in the shorter family. Uh, is that because you live in Iowa where there is no sunlight? Uh, I just don't, I just, I just don't believe sunscreen is good for you. Okay. Well, we won't get into that religious belief system. Um, <laughs> you can get paraben free sunscreen. So. No, it's fine. It's fine. We're not doing that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Patrick's Look. trying to kill me off quickly. Look, I'm excited we have Troy on a probiotic. I don't want to scare him off. Okay. Oh, hey, if he doesn't right want to put. If he doesn't want to put sunscreen on because it's not good for him. Guys, we take the win and we deal with the sunburn and worry about the cancer later. Okay. It is what it is. Small steps. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna take it. We're go. gonna take it. Ugh. So how many plant people are going to be at the AARPE? So specifically, like they only do plants. I think we have uh, Plant Vault, Tagawas, uh, Overgrown Home, Kajawa Orchids. Um, oh gosh, we have a uh, Nursery RX. That's a they're a fun one that we just got, and then one more. I think we have one more specific, and I'm it's terrible. I I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have put you in this position. No, I'm sorry. I'm not usually the one that's invoicing them, and I'm also not the one like responding them to them. Oh, perfect. Like, Let's ask the person that's invoicing them. Oh, Troy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have six. We have. I think we have six plant like specific vendors, and then we have a few uh, people that like do jumping spiders. Mystic Labyrinth has jumping spiders and plants. Okay. Parker Exotics Pets has a bunch of plants and that. And I think we have a lot of reptile vendors that are like, oh, I, I have these. I'm going to bring like some of them with me. Like now that I know that this is a plant show. Interesting. Uh, 
Okay. And I, I've, I actually, today I had a, Justin, my brother was telling me that his wife randomly, one of the, uh, one of her coworkers in like a counseling center was like, Oh, I heard about this plant and reptile show. Like, is your husband part of it? And she's like, Oh no, but my brother-in-law is. So it's funny. Yeah. And they're like, we're going. So I could do the plant parts actually selling pretty well. Like for nice. people. Like, oh, I'm just going to go because of plants. Yeah. We did get yeah. one person like Nick and I originally talked about putting all the plant people in this conference room so that, you you wouldn't have the mix of like reptiles and, and plants, right? Because there's like people yeah. that might be scared of whatever. And and we kind of nixed that idea. Um, you know, and sure enough, I don't I don't Nick if you've seen the comment or not, but somebody <laughs> did ask if the plants yeah. are gonna be near the reptiles. And yeah, we uh, got an email, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, uh I I wanted to write the lady and be like, listen. I will literally hold, I'll like me and my wife will hold your hand if you need us to, right? Like you're yeah. going to be okay. And, uh, yeah. but it is interesting, right? There's people out there that are just not reptile people and, and but you know, plants and reptiles really do go really well together. And so hopefully uh, the people that yeah. are a little scared or something still, still make it out. That's, that's the hope is like, we can have that crossover. Cause I think it, I think what I'll <laughs> say it, the bigger the industry is, the harder it is for us to fall. So like if we, can cross into i mean most people have a plant in their house like at least one most people i guess you're looking around patrick you're like i don't know is it dead yeah actually i was i'm trying we have a lot of plastic ones because my wife kept killing them i don't know if we have a, a real plant in the house anymore we have a cactus oh, well how it's about this so cactus. every episode we find something to give to somebody at a reptile show how about the next show that chimera is at we uh we bring you a plant <laughs> oh, I'm not asking. I'm telling. So oh, if you're hearing this well, and you're okay, coming so, to uh, and you're coming to but, Dallas, uh, Patrick will be in no, Dallas. No, and we would can't, be no, no, there. no. But the good thing about gonna, this though is that the plants that they will bring you are going to be like five dollars, and they're not that hard to kill. Like I was going to say, <laughs> here's the deal: though. bring Patrick a succulent, and you yeah, love it. Yeah, do that in October when I drive. Don't do it in Dallas when I fly. You you bring them to Dallas. I will walk over to Robin and I will pay the shipping to ship all the plants that you bring Patrick back to Patrick. Now that I know this will cost Troy financially, I need every plant. All the plants. (laughs) Bring the plants. They're going to bring you some live plants. They They cannot be vegetable plants. They have to be like a plant. They have to be live as well. Let's be, let's, you know, we're going to set some ground rules here. They need to be live. They need to be in some kind of potted soil. Um, seeds and vegetables do not count, and plastic plants do not count. Yep. Great. I was, Man, I was we're going to end up with some weird shit. Yeah. Just all the cucumbers. Yep. No seeds. No seeds either. Seeds don't count. Yeah, you got to bring an actual plant. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be good. All right. What are we going to do for Chase for like something to give him? Nothing, nothing, because Patrick manages to just mail things to my house I, or donate my wife animals. I love having. Uh, uh, we bring Chase's bring Chase, Chase's cover. Bring bring Chase tortoises. Yeah, <laughs> he loves it when you show up at his house with tortoises. Um, I I'm, I still don't think Chase appreciates enough how much effort I took into bringing Franklin to his home. And it hurts my feelings. You know what? Franklin is thriving. So I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. For those Rob who don't know, Franklin is a baby sulcata. Mm. It's fine. It's just mm. special because Patrick hatched it himself. That's true. And he ate Chick fil A lettuce on the way to Georgia. Okay. <laughs> he had 60 eggs and five hatched. That's, he's doing great. It was 20 and five hatched. And <laughs> the reason the others didn't is because I threw them in the trash. Oh, we don't need more sulcatas. I, I, I will I say it. Agree. Yeah, that's, I think that's okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I literally, I will, I will die on this. I love them. I have four. Um, for those who have seen the pictures, they literally ripped a toilet out of the floor. They destroy everything. They are monsters. Uh, I wanted to hatch them one time because I wanted to see a baby tortoise come out of the egg because I thought it would be incredible. It happened. And now we have a lot of scrambled tortoise eggs. <laughs> so I've always wanted to see um, a sea turtle 
you know, being born. So for like a whole week in Florida, Chase knows this, like, um, I, I went and stayed from like 11 o'clock at night till like five in the morning with these people I had never met. Yeah. Um, and Were you there? The match, and the very last day I didn't show up, but I saw the people the next, like yeah. later that day. And they were like, you missed Armfuls it. of them. Yeah. 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 Those people, we won't say who they were. Not only did they get to see them hatch, but they took it upon themselves to go and try and rescue the sea turtles. And so they have pictures of just like armfuls of baby sea turtles that they're throwing into the ocean. I realize they're going to prison if that gets out, but I'm so jealous because I would have been there with them. Uh, I so, I don't know who you're talking about. I uh, I think that's that's better than like the normal like Floridian that's like, I saved a turtle today and it's a gopher tortoise that they threw in the ocean. <laughs> That poor oh. tortoise. Oh no. Um, oh my god. So do do this is not a stupid question, I promise. Do go gopher tortoises actually swim at all? Like are they able to float? I think that they could probably like withstand like a creek or yeah. like a small puddle. Yeah. Or like the ocean. Yeah. Is it's, 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 that's, that's a thing with like the ocean is rather big. Yeah, no, I, I know that, but like, and I realize what I'm about to say, like, I know Galapagos tortoises are also rather big, right? But they've like found them floating from island to island because those fuckers like go seaboard. Uh, so I was wondering if maybe gopher tortoises were also like. I've not heard good news about gopher tortoises. There's like a, like there's a, there's a PSA out. in Florida that's like, please don't. Please Stop don't. Stop throwing them in the water. Please, please don't. Uh, it's the same the state, thing though. I've ever saw in Florida places. was a dead, a dead uh, um, Florida bear because I don't think there's many of them. And somebody hit oh, it. No. Oh, no, that's yeah. terrible. It was super sad. Never tell that story to Lauren because she cannot handle dead animals ever. <clears throat> she will kill you for telling her that. Oh, my God. Well, I'm trying to find a way out. So. <laughs> How much longer on that life insurance policy? Listen, on the uh, on the bluff today, I and I'm not lying. Like for a minute, I looked over the edge and I was like, "This would be a really pretty way to go." Um, <laughs> it's not pretty once you hit the bottom, but it's, it's true. Yeah, Fortunately, like, though, the fall isn't what gets you. It's the sudden stop at the end. Yeah, it was very pretty, very you know, just majestic. And I thought for a minute, I, I could do it. So I don't area. like. I don't like that. Like that was your thought, though. That makes me worried. What? No. Like it's you know. If are, I, are you just, saying it's like as if this was my end and it accidentally happened? It's yeah, like if today I decided I was going to run off the edge of this cliff. This would yeah, be a nice. Just so see, uh, yeah, see no, it's, it's 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 not. I don't like that, Troy. What's going on? Do we need to have an intervention? What about this? What if I said, if me and Patrick were ever going to do like a Velma and Louise, this would be a good oh. place to do it. I agree with Molly. We're going to have to put a kid's backpack on you with a leash so we can make sure you can't just leap off ledges now. Uh, Troy might pull you down. <laughs> <laughs> I am weighted. <laughs> yeah. Nick didn't um, hesitate a second oh, to make that fat joke. <laughs> uh, Nick's, Nick's lovely wife uh, you know, told me I could move in with them for a couple months and she would fix my depression because she's a nice person with a big heart. My wife also went to school to be a PA and okay. COVID hit right. and she was like, I am tired of being in the schools and doing the craziness that's happening. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Um, we had, a, we had a kids and so she went through a lot of schooling. So she, she very is into like health and care and something. Nick, how do you feel about Troy moving in for a few months? I need to finish my basement and then he can hide down there. Okay. You know what? That's okay. the vlog. That's the daily vlog I want to see. It's oh my Nick God. Surviving Troy for Actually, Troy, that's how we get a YouTube that's like monetized is just yeah. living in our basement. <laughs> yeah. This oh, sounds I'm like a really good Patreon. Like you guys could watch. Yeah. You could like watch this. It's either going to go really well and like I'm going to, I'm going to have some type of relief from myself um, or I'm going to jump off that cliff. <laughs> relief. <laughs> I think either way, you're going to have a lot of viewers. Let's be real. <laughs> it sounds like such a great thing to pay for. Like watch, watch. Yeah. What would we name it? The Truman show. That Wait. hasn't been taken, right? <laughs> ask, ask Cusco, like how to do a, a good vlog. And we'll, 
we'll put you in the basement and we'll see how it goes. Did, yeah, did Troy, you, you were on uh you're on Costco Costco's thing uh at Tinley, right? Yeah, yeah, what did you did you watch it? No, not yet. Did you talk about late to the mic? No. Dick. <laughs> Dick. We what talked about even, like, kids. What are you we even doing about, here, man? About shooting, yeah, we talked about shooting children. Jesus Christ, what do you even do here? The Troy Man Show. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's get it going. I'm, I actually so listen, I'm not this this actually happened tonight, right? Like the, this is those were Lauren's words. And yeah, kind I'm sure it's not real. Um maybe it is because she's such a nice well, person. She, she would like to see you like feel better. That's, yeah, wouldn't we all? Troy, just Lisa. go ahead and do she it. We've been trying so hard. And my yeah, wife will be the Lisa. first person to be like, yes, please live in our basement. I will feed you. I will. I, I offered to lock him in my basement. <laughs> oh, with, the other, with the other kids he has down there. Uh, I'm so ready for the Sloan Reptile scared straight version of Troy getting healthy. Yes, it's going to yeah, be amazing. Yes. Yeah. Troy's like banging on the door. I just want brown sugar. She's like, yeah. no more refined sugars. I will so literally have this shape for on like a skin. week with no sugar. So. No Reese's, no yeah. brown sugar. Oh, could you handle it? I mean, she let she lets me eat like some bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Troy. <laughs> she she before you left, she had a cookie for you. Oh just my god. <laughs> okay. What the fuck is wrong with you two just whipping cookies out of nowhere? Who it, does yeah. that? She left it for oh, me. But right? I also have this. this. Oh, what's cookie, honey. I Who said, hey, cookie. Jesus Christ. It's my wife. She's I love it. Wife. No, that's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. I love I love you both are like, we got snacks. Well, yeah. I will like this this story. So my wife, her grandmother is like Georgia, like Roswell, Georgia is where she is from. Okay. And she during COVID, I was working like insane hours. Like the lockdown didn't matter to people. We were remodeling houses like left and right. So I was work sure. I was working until like eight o'clock at night. And I I I'm six foot three. If you've never seen me at a show, I'm a taller guy. I weighed 152 pounds. Jesus. And I was at her grandma's house and she's like, What are you doing wrong? Like you're you are a bad wife. You That's <laughs> hilarious. So uh, I, I now weigh 35 pounds more. So <laughs> there we go. There yeah. we go. She, she saved it. So she makes sure she's like, I got to fatten him up or I'm in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble. Nick, That's funny. Um, Real quick. My buddy Benjamin's in here and he's from New Zealand. Is that not where the gecko is from? Is that what we talked about? It is. Yeah. Benjamin could send us these geckos. I mean, not legally, but yeah. Benjamin, are you willing to go to prison for us? Yeah. You Here's the deal. It. We will deny any knowledge of this, and we're not asking you to what, do it. What we're going to do is we're going to overpay for your ticket. Yeah. And say we just paid for your ticket. That's yeah. all we paid for. He brought yeah. the geckos here and gifted right. them. We're just we going to pay you $22,000 yeah. for your plane ticket. Benjamin. That's how much That's how much flights cost for New Zealand, right? Like, yeah. We need a few he of them. Said, he said the green geckos. Yes, that's what we want. Yeah. Wait, no, we don't want the green geckos, but no, like, no, you know, we don't want them to die. Yeah, but you know, it could happen. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Bright, bright mm -hmm. green yeah. lizards sell like Fiji Island iguanas. Everyone loves those. So yeah. if you, if you're on the way back, stop in Fiji and just, you're already going to jail. <laughs> Grab it. Look, Benjamin, we will. Benjamin, we we'll, do not want you to go to jail, but we, we don't want you to. It <laughs> could happen. <laughs> Here's the deal. We will all Venmo you five thousand dollars in your commissary once a year <laughs> for the next ten years. Yeah, you'll get out. Yeah, you'll get out eventually, right? There's a few people we know of that have got at, gotten out and are currently about to get out. <laughs> <laughs> and if we're being honest, they'll probably be right back in in like a year. So. <laughs> oh, ah, it's funny, but it's true. Yeah. What, what, do you, what do you think we could tell the authorities over in Japan <laughs> while Chase is over there that Chase is smuggling back? Uh, giant Japanese salamander. Yes, I was gonna say like uh, like like salamander yeah, eggs. Going to prison. Yeah. <laughs> if they're eggs, is it like just as bad? Like I have no idea. I assume it's living material, right? One way to find out. Yeah. <laughs> but the nice thing about that is like Chase could have a shot because he could just be like, "Oh, it's Roe. 
You know, there's morphs in those giant salamanders too. No, I did not. Yeah, there's okay, albinos and leucistics. Please, please, oh, you I would know. know that, Nick. Thank you. Thank you for bringing <laughs> that to the table. This sounds like a way to get Justin out of the industry. Is that you could accidentally <laughs> put them put in a Justin's giant, bag? Giant you just put one. Just put one giant, like four foot salamander in Justin's bag. <laughs> and see, have no idea. No clue. Yeah, that's that like, why is so my long. bag so slimy? I don't know. Yeah, it's like you watch those videos of people that hide like dildos in their buddies' bags. Instead, it's it's a giant. <laughs> salamander i want to see I'm that video. Say, i'm just gonna say i bought it at the poke center in tokyo i don't know how how that's legal can you also hide a dildo in his bag i think that would equally be as funny that would be so good these dildos would probably ooh. oh my god <laughs> on, dude help us out like some tentacle shit get get, oh a, get a video of justin opening up his bag from in front of security and a giant like purple dildo pops out no <laughs> I like how Chase is like no. He might find it funny. Aren't those aren't those those ones that like lay? Oh, he eggs? never finds anything. He's yes, like, yes. Get one of those. <laughs> really give him a pair cool. and be like, Justin, I thought you were gonna start breeding those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Chat GPT tonight, guys. What are we doing? Um, well, Nick Benjamin is telling us about and found the rare Nutella uh, iguana. <laughs> Ah, yes. Nick and Troy smuggling. Oh, smuggling the rare Nutella iguana from Costa Rica. Where are they at? The Nutella ones? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Costa Rica, I think. <laughs> They're in uh, Iowa. Where, where are Oompa Loompas from? <laughs> oh, God. Where are Oompa Loompas from? Oompa Loompa. It was an island Oompa. off India, wasn't it? Yeah, but was what was the, did they actually have an actual name? It was Loompa Land. It was it was Oompa Land, right? Yeah. Yeah, Oompa like Land. Off the coast of India or something. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's see here. Hundred word funny story about Nick and Troy smuggling the rare Nutella iguana from Costa Rica to Iowa to sell with Nicole Dildos. <laughs> to sell at there. Reptile show alongside egg laying dildos. Go. Oh, this content may violate, but it still is right in the story, so we're good. This All is good. Right. I don't know if this is going to be a good story or not, but it has the bones. You can tell. <laughs> it has the bones. All right, here we go, guys. <clears throat> Nick and Troy, notorious for their wild schemes. Embarked on their craziest adventure yet, smuggling the rare Nutella iguana from Costa Rica to Iowa. This wasn't just any iguana. Its scales shimmered with a chocolatey hue, rumored to charm any who laid eyes on it. Their plan was flawless, or so they thought, until they realized they also had to transport a batch of egg-laying dildos. The latest craze in the reptile show circuit. That checks out. The journey was fraught with odd... <laughs> With odd looks at customs, perplexed sniffer dogs, and an iguana that developed an odd affinity for dildo. <laughs> Treating them like it's eggs. Upon reaching Iowa, their booth became the unintentional hit of the show, attracting crowds not just for the mythical iguana, but for the bizarre spectacle of egg-laying dildos. Nick and Troy, bewildered by their success, decided to quit while they were ahead, retiring from their smuggling game to become legends of the reptile show scene. There we go. Wow. There we go, guys. We got to legend somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't even know. Uh, I love that the uh, I like the little touch of the egg, the iguana falling in love with the egg laying dildo. Chat GTP man. If, uh, if y'all have not seen it, uh, Chat GPT is now powering robots. Uh, you should go look at Figure One. It will absolutely horrify you about the future. It's incredible. It's like Skynet. Yeah. Um, it is Skynet. It yeah. is incredible, and I love it. Now uh, we're going from egg laying dildos with Skynet yeah. robots. So yeah, you guys are missing out on Benjamin's stories good. over here in the comments. He's got a lot going on here. It's good. I don't know if I can see comments. You can. Uh, you just oh, click oh, comments. Oh, uh, yeah. Chris wants to know where we put them. Don't worry about it. Of course he does. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, okay, guys, we're going to let Nick get out of here sooner rather than later. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe uh, late to the mic on YouTube and Instagram and on any podcasting station that you listen to. Uh, Nick, Nick, what's the best uh, way for people to get a hold of you? Uh, Instagram, Facebook. You can text me. Um, you can call me. I'm old school. I call people all the time and Oof. they hate it. So Yeah, that's pretty terrible. Uh, all of his links are in our stuff. Please, guys, make sure in the description below to go like, smash the subscribe, do all that good stuff. Troy, what were you yeah. saying? I was just going to tell Nick, stick around for a minute. Yes, don't okay. abandon us, Nick. Okay. Nope. Um, I'll go to All American too. Go to All American Reptile. And- yes, hey, please do that. Good. You should probably go check out. Yes, All American. That's Reptile. good. Even if you're not in Colorado, yeah. it could possibly want to come to a state near you. Oh, I like that. Um, and then lastly, on a selfish note, Chimera's Morph Madness is starting back up for a round of thirty-two oh, next week. Uh, or not next week, tomorrow. So please watch the Instagram stories. Will start getting posted probably around noon. And uh, y'all can go vote for who you want to win. And then the bracket is available at ChimeraReptile.com under the bracket section. So you can go look at what the matchups are and all that good stuff. Uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. We've got a lot of participation. I'm not looking forward to next year when it's bigger because it's going to be a lot of work, but it's fun. Uh, anyway, go do that. Make sure to like, subscribe to Nick. And uh, Troy, who's next week? Oh, I don't know. I'm voting on stuff right now. Yes. Uh, okay. I don't know who next week is. I'm excited to find out. I hope y'all are excited to find out. Uh, love everyone. Thank y'all again so much. And we will see y'all next Thursday. Bye guys. See you guys.